Climate change is already going on and uh, it will have many, many implications. And already now it is more expensive, the climate change, than the profits of all the energy and oil companies. So it's very unwise and, and we should stop it some way or the other. Well, we should calculate the proper cost of energy. I mean, it's not the higher cost. At the moment, we pay quite a lot to the energy, uh, but it is not visible. We pay tax. We pay tax for subsidies, which mainly go to the fossil fuel companies. And we pay tax to make wars and to have all kind of political difficulties and, and, and having to spend money. So the actual price of energy is already quite expensive, or, but we don't see it. How is the innovation power of the sustainability sector? Well, what you see now is that because of the crises, and because we have everywhere, we have a social crisis, we have a financial crisis, we have a climate crisis, we have crises all over, which is a sign of the end of the Industrial Revolution. We go to a new culture, and in this new culture we get lots of new inventions. And you see, and that's what makes me really happy, is that most of the innovations which are caused by the urgency of, of the climate change are fantastic. They are just more fun. They're just better. They're just, it's not a replacement of fossil fuel. It is just a new era and it's very attractive. Uh, how should we deal with storage and the intermittency of clean tech? Well, the, the storage problem is actually a solvable problem. Certainly at the moment you can use gas. And what you basically do is you use gas as a transition and you may have to make sure that you give priority to all the renewable productions. So any new blast of wind or a beautiful sunny, sunny day will then immediately save kilowatt hours of gas. Uh, the problem though is that the gas companies, they don't want to reduce the amount of gas which they sell because that's their profit. Uh, what would you describe are the highlights for the short term to solve energy issues? Well, the highlights are young people. Young people which uh, are coming now, the generation which, uh, which is coming to the universities now, they're totally convinced that there's only one future and that's a sustainable future. And then right next to that, you'll see many, many companies, many, many small organizations and even large companies which choose the sustainable direction. To name a few is like Unilever very recently or DSM, beautiful large companies which go for it. Even Tata, Tata Steel is a very, very large company, they go for it. And, and the only thing you can say is that maybe our government lags behind and they should pay, maybe look at the German government. How do the Netherlands compare to the international field when it comes to sustainable innovation power? Uh, the Netherlands is, uh, is in, at a position 18 in Europe. It's really one of the worst countries in Europe in terms of how much uh, we still pollute and, and how little we spend on renewables. And I think the, the reason of that is that the Netherlands is the most important dependent on, uh, the country which is most dependent on fossil fuel. And it's because of our trade. We trade four times more fossil fuel than we need ourselves. And, and so we are just a trading country in fossil fuel. And maybe we have to learn that trade also goes with responsibility and, and ethics and, and we should stop it. <laughs>